Hey friends, Hi. welcome back to Heartland Family Adventures. Today we are back at Silver Dollar City for the Harvest Festival. We're so happy to be here. So we're here over just over a quick weekend, Saturday, Sunday. Um, happy to be taking you guys along with us. What are you excited for, Dave? Food. Pumpkin, <laughs> pumpkin spice, and all the fall, Everything fall pumpkin. food. Yeah, know. all the fall but foods. Yeah. Also, just it's beautiful weather, so we do the rides for the kids, mm -hmm. and it's just be perfect temperatures. So yeah, it's it wonderful. Couldn't, it couldn't be more beautiful temperatures this weekend. Uh, so this festival runs through the month of September all the way to the end of October. It's really nice to come out here and enjoy Branson, enjoy all the changing fall leaves and everything pumpkin, all the pumpkin foods. They've got craftsman booths. You can go around and see lots of cool crafts. They've got uh, fun dance parties and kind of all themed like glowing pumpkins and foggy hollow and all kinds of fun things into the nighttime mm -hmm. and rides as well. You can enjoy late into the evening hours. So it's really, really fun time. The kids always love it. We'll show you kind of all the highlights of our day and some of our favorite things. Hope you guys enjoy coming along with us. Hey guys. Hi. So what are you guys excited about for, for Harvest Festival? What's your favorite thing? Well, I'm most excited about probably the food. The foods. I love fall food pretty much more than any other food. Mm -hmm. and what's your favorite thing that you're coming back for today? Hmm. Pumpkin well, soft I serve. Pumpkin soft serve. <laughs> or I do like their, um, I guess it's not really fall, but their grilled cheese is also really good. Oh yes, Emma's a grilled cheese girl. So Why she's, can't I what is now? your favorite thing, Henry? That what are you works. looking forward to the most today? Well, three things. Oh, well, please tell us. Taffy. Oh, some taffy. Very nice. The giant pirate ship, the rocking pirate ship, mm -hmm. and Thunderation. Oh, right. Thunderation. Henry's all about the rides. What's your favorite of the treats? The, do you have any favorite treats? Dippin' Dots or <gasps> Tater Twist. Definitely Tater Twist. Yeah. Those are all good favorites. Are all good. right. And I, I want to start with Tater Twist. Starting with the Tater Twist today? Yeah. Starting off strong. Yeah. All right. What do we, else do we want to say? Go Chiefs! Go Chiefs! Gotta go check in, see what they've got going on in the bakery. It's got some really good goodies in here. Got whoopie pies, molasses crinkles. Oh, delicious cinnamon rolls. Oh, here we go. We got pumpkin cinnamon roll, pumpkin whoopie pie, and iced pumpkin spice coffee and hot caramel apple cider. Yum. Those look so good. Oh, and they've got bread pudding too. And molasses crinkles and fresh pretzels. This looks delicious. Some cute pumpkins in the city merch. We got some sweatshirts, long sleeves, short sleeves, cups, coasters, little old candy corns. Very cute. Cute little designs on the shirt. So it's like the little pumpkin spider and the pumpkin man. A lot of cute things. Oh, look at this little guy. Look, they even have How the cute. Little snow globe with the pumpkin man. They even have the crazy guy on the pumpkin. Yeah. Yep. Time traveler pumpkin man. <laughs> Lots of little craft boots set up. Here they have coffee roasted. Specialty coffees you can buy. And lots of different pottery. Lots of coffee cups. Bigger mugs, plates. And we got Christmas decorations. Already set up, even though we're here in the fall. Ready for Christmas. Soap dishes, too. There's some fall stuff. Pumpkin designs. Some neat artwork. It's more over here. 
There's some fun ones. Some fall themed. It's got chief stuff. Fun stuff. It's more of the kind of the blacksmith stuff over here. What'd you find, Henry? Henry found snakes. Oh my. <laughs> cool. Let's see if somebody can come watch them work on their stuff here, too. Oh, leather goods. Got different bags and stuff, and wallets. Even some earrings. Shop with all different sorts of copper stuff, ball themes. Yes. These little guys. <laughs> Lots of different earrings and rings and stuff. I love those little flower petal earrings. Yeah, they have Emma always wants to look at the earrings, don't you? <laughs> They're so cute. Mm. It's like a little chippy flowers. They're pretty. Well, the craft boots, they got some nice stuff to hang outside. Some hummingbird feeders. Different planters. You can always go and get your different jellies and different butters, apple butter, pumpkin butter, that kind of stuff. I don't know. Emma found something that she thinks is neat. They've got an extra small one. They even got the Taylor Swift in Silverdor City, don't they? Oh, that's cute. See lots more pottery over here, too. Over there, they've got different candles. Along with, of course, Emma had to get her Taylor Swift shirt. Shawls and scarves for the fall. Here's the wagon works grill. It's over here, close to the main entrance. We've got a couple of specialty things here: a pumpkin chili and a loaded Southwest sweet potato, along with their usual stuff. I'm grilling it up right here. So here's a picture of it: the pumpkin chili, and there's that. Loaded sweet potato. Here at the cider shacks, also kind of <laughs> close to the main entrance. They've got lots of special stuff. You do a pumpkin churro, caramel apple, different ciders. And they've got those glow in the dark buckets with cotton candy. All right, what do you think of that cider, Emma? These are really good. Um, yeah. it's sweet, but also really, it, it's cold outside. Yeah, it's got that so, little bit of spice to it, right? A little bit of spice, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really good, though. Yeah, it's kind of warm today still, so nice cold cider. It's refreshing. Over here at the famous funnel cake stuff. They always have a specialty funnel cake. So right now it's a maple, bacon, and pecan funnel cake. They do the tasting passport like they do for all the festivals. So you choose five tastings throughout the park from 24 different locations and it's $35. It's a pretty good value, especially if you kind of check the, check the list and pick out. I recommend kind of looking ahead to see what you want to get the best value. But it's kind of fun so you can get a, something from all over the park.
There's the traveler stop, one of our favorite stops. They have really good grilled cheeses here. And for the harvest festival, they have a couple of specialties. They have a pumpkin butter and marshmallow fluff grilled sandwich and a buffalo chicken grilled cheese. What'd you get, Emma? Cheese. Yeah. This is something you can get any time of year, but it's one of our favorites. Yeah. Something that Emma looks forward to coming to get at Silver Dollar City. And Henry, of course, is getting. I think this is your third tater twist. Yeah. First today, but he had two yesterday. <laughs> yep. We're not big fans of the special, the buffalo sauce, especially Emma. So, but a good classic grilled cheese. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. We're at the Tater Patch, another skillet stop. For the Harvest Festival, they have a special skillet, sausage potato skillet. Also have another special here. They have a creamy chicken stew. You can see them cooking the skillets right here. Always one of the best things, one of the best values, get a skillet, nice meal. over here and then pumpkin carvings you can get keepsake carvings over here by order by pumpkin carver Barry Brown and then they do pumpkin carving demonstrations as well over here and lots of pumpkins this is really fun to walk through at night you can see all the pumpkins just glowing and all the decorations stop for us every festival the cakes and cones they do the pumpkin pumpkin soft serve in a waffle cone or a cake cone. Right, Emma got the pumpkin soft serve, her favorite. How is it? It's really nice good. and icy cold. Pumpkiny. Yeah. Very, very pumpkiny. It kind of reminds me like of, of like a pumpkin cheesecake. Very pumpkin spice. Oh, okay. So it's creamy. A little bit creamy. Uh -huh. That's good. Your favorite. Too, and Brooks got the the, the pug in a, in a pumpkin. <laughs> What's his name? What are you gonna name him? Pugsley. Nice. Pugster. What's yours gonna be named? Pumpkin. <laughs> Fluffer. Hey, no. Fluffer. Yes. What'd you get? Got the medium size. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the kettle corn. It's the usual stop for us as well. They always have the traditional kettle corn. They always have a specialty too. And right now they have the pumpkin kettle corn. Pumpkin spice for the harvest festival. little pumpkin guys we got a pumpkin chef pumpkin blacksmith pumpkin glass blower pumpkin time traveler <laughs> oh yeah pumpkin blacksmith too <laughs> oh 
like these guys, they're cute. We have Sadie's Pretzel Cafe. This is a newer addition to the park that we really enjoy. And they do have a specialty pretzel for the Harvest Festival. So you can see you can get pretzel dogs and brats, as well as hand-twisted pretzels, sweet and savory options. And they also have a pumpkin one that we're excited to try out. You see, these are fresh made daily. And for Pumpkin Festival, they've got a pumpkin spice and sugar dusted one that's special. You can also get cinnamon sugar or traditional with salt or one with a hot dog, bratwurst, or jalapeno cheddar. And gourmet dipping sauces with sweet chili, cheese, or icing. How is your tater twist, buddy? I'm gonna rate it. The best? You've already eaten like half of it. Hey, I'm gonna rate it. Okay? Did you know that that is a whole potato? Wait, it doesn't have enough cheddar, okay? I'll wear it after I'll wear it this one. Get the most cheddary bite ever. Mmm, yummy. I'm gonna wait this rate it. Okay, how does it compare to all the other tater twists you've had? Out of a hundred. <laughs> Out of a hundred. What do you give it? I'll give it 97. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I thought it was nice and crispy today. I like them when they make them crispy. Now the problem is multiple cheeses inside of the grilled cheese. It yes. It makes it just so good. And then we stopped over here at Sadie's Pretzels and we got the pumpkin spice pretzel. Look at that. These are fresh made pretzels. They dip them in butter and then they sprinkle it in pumpkin spice, cinnamon, sugar. It looks good. And it comes with a, a yummy um, kind of icing dipping sauce as well. I'm excited for a sweet pretzel. Okay. Try plain and then I'll try some with the icing. Yeah, there you go. They're very mm -hmm. fresh. Very, very, fresh. very, very fresh. Mm -hmm. All right, a little bit of icing. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Very fresh. These are really good pretzels. It's good. And you get a lot of pumpkin spice. I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. Can you try that? I'm going to try a little bit. A little piece. It has sugar. Cinnamon sugar on it. What do you think? <laughs> His eyes. <laughs> you like I, think it, I, think. I think he likes it. <laughs> So good. So your dockside grill, another skillet stop. They also do chicken sandwich, chicken tenders, but for the harvest festival, they have a harvest succotash. The Rivertown Smokehouse. They have several specialty things. We're gonna try that bratwurst with braised red cabbage. It's also a special pulled pork sandwich with a pumpkin barbecue sauce, a slab of ribs with pumpkin spice, a smoked sausage mac and cheese, and a pumpkin bread pudding. All right, for dinner tonight, we stopped at Rivertown Smokehouse. Got a lot of different things. We got a kid's meal with chicken tenders. Comes with a side of tots and a drink and a apple slices. Then we got the roasted uh, pumpkin spice uh, rack of, half rack of ribs. And we got the pumpkin bread pudding. And then Dave got the bratwurst with red cabbage. And we got some coleslaw. So lots of goodies here. This is a two meat platter with pulled pork and the, and the sausage. And then it comes with two sides, potato salad and baked beans. Good, good, pretty good, good portions here. And this is the pumpkin Pumpkin spice barbecue sauce. See how that tastes. All right, Sam's so gonna try this pumpkin barbecue sauce. Is it very pumpkiny? No. It's very sweet though. Yeah. Kind of like a tangy, tangy like vinegar based. Yeah. But with some with sweetness in there too. I can't. I'm not sure. I can't really place it. How are the ribs though? Ribs are decent. They're not like fall off the bone, but they've got, I mean, there's a good amount of meat on here, which I'm happy about. Um, they're not, they're not as tender as I would like, but they're pretty good. It's not bad. I probably would prefer just the regular barbecue. Yeah. But that's kind of like a tangy barbecue. It's not bad. I don't get the pumpkin spice though. Yeah. Well, it's something different. What do we think of the sausage and pulled pork over here? 
The Bulberg is good. It's a little dry. Yeah. Dry. Need some sauce. Gotta need some sauce. No, yeah. This is all from a Kansas City bar. Right. We're a little right? spoiled. So, yeah, um, but the sausage is really, really okay. good. Okay. Okay. So, it looks it's like a, it's got it's a, a nice good mild sauce. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you can. Yeah. It's very good. I'm very happy with, it's with the It's got sausage. a good flavor, but it's not too spicy. Mm -hmm. Not too spicy. No. Yeah. Just a little bit of heat. Not mm -hmm. a lot. And we're just going regular barbecue. Regular barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But awesome. like I said, the whole work is fine, it's just a little dry. Yeah. Needs the sauce. Hello. Hello. Hello, Henry. How is the food down here, Brooks? My big city. How are these chicken tenders? Good. Rate it. Rate it. <laughs> rate it. How would you rate it? One to ten. Best chicken tender of your life or? Seven. Oh, a seven. That's, that's pretty good. Oh, yay. How are you girls doing? Are we having more they tenders over here? Like Wow. So you see, okay. they, they did the kids' meals, mm -hmm. and one of them got mac and cheese, and the other one got tater tots, and then they split it. Yep, them. and then they're sharing. The kids' meals are a good value, I feel like. You get a good amount of food, plus the apples, two sides. Yeah, it's a good portion. Hello. All right, Dave's going for it. Brave with the red, red cabbage here. But the broth sounded good. I mean, how is it? It, it looks, looks a little dry, honestly. How's it taste? The broth, yeah, the broth's just okay. Mm. I mean, that better. It's not like a, it's not like a nice beer broth. Yeah. But it's okay. The cabbage is okay with the cabbage. Cabbage, good flavor. Add something to it. Yeah. It's okay. not usually my favorite thing. But. Something unique that this to this time of year you can get, kind of like Oktoberfest. <laughs> I think if the broth works, was better. Yeah. Like this would be a great thing, but Aww. it's not bad, but it's I've had a lot better. Yeah. Okay. I think that's our like whole well, like it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's just not as good as we hope it could be. All right. This is the pumpkin bread pudding. This is very good. That's what they do here. It's Bread. Look at this. Dessert bread. These chunks, I feel like these chunks in here are like the delicious cinnamon bread or something. Like they take it tastes like cinnamon bread with some nuts with some pumpkin spice and drizzle. It's really good. It's really good. I'm not getting a ton of pumpkin, but I'm getting cinnamon and all that goodness. It's good. Here by the giant barn swing. And this is where the giant pumpkins are. Should we go up here? The garden of the giants. Gordon Gargantuan. Oh, he's 1,156 pounds, Henry. He's a big one. He's even bigger. Oh no, not not as big as that one. Eleven hundred and thirty-four pounds. What? Harvey S. Best. Eleven hundred seventy-nine. Oh, this one's big. This oh one's my. huge. Thirteen hundred. Peter Pumpkin. Whoa, it's a lot yeah, of pumpkin pie. Skinny. Is she the biggest? This is the biggest oh so goodness, far. This is the biggest. Oh, that's like as big as me. Here at Hugo's, you can get a barbecue chicken sandwich that has barbecue sauce, cheddar cheese, ranch, and scallions. Or you can also get cold. App, caramel apple cider or just regular apple cider here. It's a good spot. At the Dippin' Dots, you can get the special spookies and cream for the Harvest Festival. They also have Fire in the Hole, which is a strawberry orange blend. But Henry always wants to get the rainbow ice. Over here at the Lumber Camp, where they do lots of burgers, sandwiches usually. A couple specialty things. 
Got the cowboy stew and a French onion stuffed sweet potato. The kettle chips over here right next to the lumber camp. They have one specialty kettle chips. It's the sweet potato kettle chips, comes topped with cinnamon sugar and marshmallow cream. Hey Henry, how's your dipping Dots? Breaking news. Breaking news. Today I will be taking a test on my dipping Dots. Yes. How do they taste today? Very refreshing? Fruity. Very fruity? Henry loves the rainbow, all the colors of the rainbow. All the tart, fruity things. Mm. I would give that a solid 99. 99? I have a hungry. Ooh, that's your favoriteest, favoriteest thing. And they gave him. A, and they gave him an, a big size, size up, too. So we got extra. Of, yeah, because they ran out of the little cups. Yep, so then they gave you bonus. That was really nice of them, huh? The pumpkin hand dip corn dog. I got this last year and it was one of my favorite things, so I had to come back and get it again this year. It was really pumpkin-y last year, so I'm hoping it's the same. Mm -hmm. And I am a mustard girl, so tea mustard. Try this. No. It's not it's not like pumpkin spice, a little bit of pumpkin spice maybe, but it's just more pumpkin flavor. It's good. I like it a lot. They, put, they must have that in the in the, in the the batter. It's delicious with a fresh hand dipped corn dog. You can see, large, large dog. Just a real thin, nice batter, but it's real nice and crispy on the outside. These are delicious. I highly recommend. Good stuff. Over here at the fried pansies. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love this area where you can come under the kind of the cover. Got fans in here, it's nice and shady, right by the waterfall. It's a good spot. Very nice. Yeah. That waterfall. Over here they have the cowboy chuck wagon. They do a little show and cook the food right out here in the open. Really neat, nice and shaded on a warmer day in the cowboy camp. Another fun thing they do throughout the year. You can see it cooking over the fire. Got the stew going. Give out samples people, Mm-hmm. give out samples. Mm, wish you had smell of That smells good. All right, this is one of Henry's favorite things in the park. Just very so grandfather's mansion. It's one of the oldest things in the park, right by the entrance. Kind of a little fun house.
They've got pumpkin lights. They've got face painting. All kinds of glowing and bubbles and glowing necklaces. Lots of fun things for the kids. Lots of different face painting options. And then they got some specialty food items over here as well that are just open for the pumpkin dance party. Chicken and waffle cone and the taste of the city. The chicken and waffle stand, you can get the apple dumplings with ice cream, the pumpkin waffle cones and the apple caramel apples. And then Taste of the Cities has a lot of different options that are kind of seasonal, fun treats as well that are unique to this, to this specific location that you really can't get anywhere else in the park. Oh, Mike got something. So this is the gumbo. There's some cheesy grits Got in some there. cheesy grits and the andouille sausage on top. That looks really good. It this does. is a repeat, right, from last it year? Is, yeah, I got it last year, yeah. but I did the tasting passport. So this is yes, a bigger Yes, this is a larger portion. That's a good More portion than a tasting. size. Yes. That's a larger, good size portion. Yep. Yes, so that's, yeah, it's on the tasting passport, but we highly recommend just getting the regular because you get a much better size. They also have the sweet potato sausage skillet. That's that chicken andouille gumbo with cheesy grits roasted red pepper soup, and a spiced pear punch. That looks really good. All right, we got the gumbo. This is a like a favorite from prior years. Let's see how it stands up this year.
Show me your pumpkins. Oh, they're glowing in the black light. What? That's so cool. I love it. We're at the apple shack. You can get the apple dumplings with ice cream, sliced caramel apples, pretzels, apple cider, either hot or cold. Really tasty. We love that hot, hot apple cider. And the apple dumplings are amazing. We got the bats up here at the riverfront. Super cute. Mystic River Falls glowing at night. And they've got all these pumpkins hanging on the riverfront area, which is really cool. And of course, the, the cow and the pig and the chicken. And all over the park, they have these lit up pumpkins carved pumpkins of all different sizes. Here we've got like some foxes. We just got all different ones. This is kind of the walkway over here by Crossroads Pizza. And then they've got new lights and kind of decorations in this area that's new this year. A giant barn swing all legged up out here. So these are all carved like owls, which is really cool. Are these and then we've got the owls hanging up above. That's spooky. So they moved these over here by the giant barn swing this year. And they have this over by the giant pumpkins and the giant barn swing. Really cool spot. And they've got the giant pumpkins over here. Lots of pumpkin carvings and all the owls kind of hanging out above. Got bunny rabbits. Got kind of like a woodland area with the mushrooms. 